I was driving around town and I drove past a couple guys doing a bunch of dirt work. So I stopped. I'm going to see if they'll let me run a dozer. <laughs> Get in it and start going. <laughs> Look at that cute little thing. <laughs> Alright, y'all, moment of truth. <laughs> Can I run the dozer? <laughs> Thanks. Well, that was easy. Good morning. Goodness. It is cold outside. What in the world is going on? It's the middle of July. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi. My name is Grace. I'm an eighth generation farmer in Kentucky. And today we're going on a little bit of an adventure. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and we're gonna be running a dozer today. First of all, I've never run a dozer before. Second of all, running other people's equipment makes me nervous. Backstory, y'all know my black truck. Actually, it goes further back than that. Back when I first started driving, I went to this one shop. I always went there. I didn't go anywhere else because they, I thought they treated me well. They kind of screwed me over one good time. And I was like, I, I think I'm done. So I went shopping around and I tried this other shop and they were okay, but my truck got broke into there and then they went out of business, I think. So I was like, okay, well, I got to find a new one. Then I found another one. They take great care of me. The mechanics are great. The owners are great. 10 out of 10 experience. It's Bozarts in Candleton. If any of you are in the area, I highly recommend going there. So the shop that I go to has actually bought another location and they're working on getting it ready to go and they have dirt perfect coming in to do the bulldozing because dirt perfect is another one of their customers i get a call hello yes this is grace hey grace um dirt perfect is actually doing dirt work for me and they said that you can run a dozer if you want to and i was like <laughs> okay <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. We're going to hop across the river to Tell City, Indiana and try and do some bulldozing. <laughs> steering. So forward, reverse, and then left and right. Okay. The only thing that gets a little bit tricky is if you kind of go all the way, one track will start spinning forward and one track will start spinning backwards. So mm -hmm. you kind of 
go uh, go around in circles pretty quick if you want to. <laughs> this is your speed. So I got you turned down. It's 1.1 right idea. there, which is, which is pretty, pretty slow. So. <laughs> this is your blade control. So up, down, and then uh, you got tilt, left and right. Now here's the biggest difference. This is a D-cell pedal instead of an accelerator pedal. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Whenever you crank it all the way up, make sure we're in neutral so it don't really work. It actually revs up and goes faster as you let off. That's what'll make it a little more difficult. So now you don't have to run wide open to start it off. You can okay. take off a little bit. Good little idea. Bit easier. And if you go all the way down to one mile an hour, it, it creeps pretty good. So what you want to do, you can take off straight through that ridge right there. Kind of hover the blade maybe three, four inches off the ground. And just let the dozer keep doing this thing. You'll kind of feel the tracks. You'll feel it load up. You'll feel the tracks start slipping and just raise the blade up a little bit. Okay. And then as you kind of feel the dozer pick up speed, you just kind of push it down a little bit. Okay. You got this. <laughs> okay. If the camera was turned the other way, they'd see the face of confidence. <laughs> so you want to put your foot on that. Go ahead and shove it all the way down. Okay. And I would turn that throttle. You can slide that seat forward too. If you okay, want. good, yeah. So uh, here it moves it all the damn time. I think oh, this good. one. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> okay. He gets mad at me with his my long leg, his short leg. So <laughs> on this first pass, I'd go maybe half to three quarters, somewhere right in there. We'll do that. Then go ahead and click it forward. It won't move unless you let off that pedal. I think you're old boy. Mm -hmm. You do want to change this while you're going. You can move that up and down. It's all high okay. stat, so it ain't going to do anything. But then uh, I'd creep forward just a little bit, kind of lower the blade down. You'll kind of feel it hit the ground. There you go.
my first go round was a little bit bumpy. Um, it's not very even. I think I could get used to this. This is pretty fun. Dang it. This is kind of hard. So yeah, I'm kind of treating this like a bean head where you're constantly watching your ground level, if that makes sense. So when we're cutting beans, we're constantly watching the ground, seeing like where we're at, making sure that we're not too far down on one side, and with wheat, same thing with wheat. But you know, that's just kind of how it, how it is. And that's what this reminds me of. And then we'll just, Put it in reverse, Terry. And we're gonna. I'm not very fast, but this is only my second pass. So I'll allow it. Smooth operator. I'm stuck in my head. Alright, we're gonna go after this rather tall pile. <laughs> this will be fun. Go slow at first. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> this is a really big pile. Sawdust, though, it should just.
one here, this is your hydraulic, which that needs to be up. But like if you shut it off and it is up, it'll automatically go to the off position. So you'll have to flip it like that. This is your parking brake. This is your tilt. And then uh, where, where's the button at here? It's one of these right here. There it is. That's your angle. Ooh. Yeah, so your Fancy. angle, tilt, up and down. And then that shakes the plate. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, you get a little more options on this one. <laughs> and, and then uh, throttle is on the opposite side. It's over mm. here. Uh, so, same thing? Yeah, now the D-cell on this is not as smooth as that. Great. It's, it's jerky. All right. All right. Well, I guess I'll give it a go. Yeah, this one takes a, well, you rode the Cadillac first. That right. one was the Cadillac? That's the Cadillac. It, this is kind of like the Chevette. Huh. But it's, I, it's nice, it rides good. I knew I'd like that one better. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Much better. Oh, this one will get after it, boys. Mm, I don't like this one. This one is not near as smooth. I knew I'd like the other one better. I'm not doing a good job in this one. And also it's just harder to see out of this one because it's so little. And it's like raining like crazy. <laughs> Ooh, that is not as smooth. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, yeah. That'll just slow that down. <laughs> Y'all, what the heck? I didn't know it was supposed to rain. That's so fun. Once you get used to it, I think this one would be fine. I just don't really like it. Oh, hey, I think it stopped raining. That's good. Why is there a spoon on the exhaust? All right, so Grace, we like to play this little game in our comment section, and we plant Easter eggs in our videos to generate comments. <laughs> this is one of our best comment generators right here. The spoon. The spoon. <laughs> That's we a good have, idea. We have a blast with this, because like, if you want to get a, a, a shot underneath the truck, you just pour a little bit of oil on it, like it looks like it's leaking. Everybody thinks your truck's getting ready to blow up. <laughs> but all you did was get like 500 comments about how your truck's going to blow up. I don't even have to pour the oil. Then Mine's exactly. already like You're that. Ready to go. <laughs> we got a few trucks like that also. You put stuff together, you purposely put one piece in backwards, you know, and it, you'd be amazed how many people know. I don't know. It's a fun little game we play. The spoon's part of the game. <laughs> Forks next. <laughs> That's Forks all. next. Forks next. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this dozer because this, this one was my favorite this one was your favorite all right so this is uh a john deere 850j it's a 2007 model the color probably gives away it's ex-military uh we bought it from a good friend of ours cleaning up the cnc equipment which also has a youtube channel this this thing's just a good old-fashioned basic war course if you probably noticed there's no radio there's no amenities there's no nothing it's just engine power and blade it gets the job done it's uh it's been a good machine it's like 210 horse weighs about 40 or about 54,000 pounds with the ripper on it somewhere in that section but uh it's been a good machine for us it's a lot of fun to run because it just goes 
There's no finesse. It's just all push. It's my favorite. <laughs> so. I think I'm going to take this one home, actually. You guys can keep that one. Keep that one. Now, this, this one here is uh, this one here is actually a demo machine. This is one of the... They're getting the, they're getting the privilege here. This is one of the first machines branded as Hyundai in the United States. There's only a few of these out there right now. This is actually... I'm sure people in the comments will say, this is actually a Devlon dozer or a Doosan dozer, which is true. But this one here is branded as Hyundai, and they got a few minor little tweaks and changes to it. Uh, this is a much smaller dozer. I'm not for sure the horsepower on this one. I think it's around 120. It's about 22,000 pounds, uh, HD 100. And uh, it's more of a finished dozer. It's got the six-way blade, a little bit more finesse. Uh, so basically, you get, the, you get the big stuff moved with this one, and you bring this one in behind it, kind of finish it off. And as you probably noticed operating them, they are worlds apart, mm -hmm. worlds apart. They're not anywhere close to each other. Uh, but they're not supposed to be in retrospect. But uh, yeah, they're both fun to run been in the excavating business for about 17 years we started in the home business we've kind of turned into we do a lot of work for farmers we do a lot of field tile work a lot of drainage work a lot of land clearing uh build lakes ponds building pads just kind of the basic stuff it's all posted on our youtube channel i don't know about five years ago six years ago got this crazy neighbor named longer wade talked me into doing social media ended up on youtube thinking nobody's ever going to watch this stuff and then here we are hundred million views later <laughs> <laughs> so it's been quite the wild ride but uh, thankful for it we still do a lot of work uh, but YouTube's allowed us to kind of focus on what we really enjoy and I had to chase every little thing and hang out with my friends have a good time the way we film a video is we want to bring you guys to work with us to hang out that's 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 our whole goal when we film so we have a good time on it Okay, well, that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts, linked down below, and check out my new show called Dirt Poor on Acres TV. Also, check out Dirt Perfect. Dirt Perfect on everything? Yep, Dirt Perfect on everything. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. All right, I'll link those down below for you guys, and talk to you guys next time. Bye!